How's it going, y'all? It's your boy Euphoria. I'm going to make this really quick. I just want to do my quick review slash preview slash some more reaction of Crazy Bones' Lisa Legend album. Quite a very impressive album. And stay tuned to the end because I give my personal opinion why I rank this on Crazy Bones' list of all-time albums. So let's just say it's up there. And I'm very qualified to do this because you can check out some of my videos I do of uh, rapping some of Crazy Bones stuff. My latest one is Lil John and Crazy Bone. I don't give a fuck. And that needs to go viral. It should go viral. It will go viral someday. And I even rap for the man himself. Check it out, check it out. That needs to go viral too because it only got 4,000 views. Let's get into it. First, I want to set the stage a little bit by saying, understand, this is for me to do this is kind of a stretch um, a little bit because these days, honestly, I barely even listen to rap. To be honest with you, I barely listen to rap, not because, oh, the new artists suck. It's just me as a person, I've evolved and I'm just at a different place in my life. Um, you know, to put it in perspective, my favorite artist, literally, no exaggeration, is BTS. And by the way, if you haven't listened to them or know their stuff, you should probably check them out. They're pretty nice. Um, so yeah, I barely even listen to rap. I barely listen to rap, but you know, always when it comes to crazy, it, it just kind of hit a little bit different. I, I just have this certain genuine level of respect for this guy, and his music and his artistry. So I'm not going to take up all your time because you don't want to fucking hear me talk all day. You want to listen to the album, which you should be doing. So let's just get into it. Foremost, the best way I could describe this album is from a comment that I put up on one of the tracks of the album where I say, yo, I really think this dude crazy just low key dropped the fucking classic on our ass. And I say that is low key because honestly, when it came to this album, Crazy didn't do a whole bunch of, my nigga, check out my album. This is the best shit in the world. My nigga, fuck you. Fuck your ears. Fuck your mama. Fuck your daddy. He ain't do none of that as far as I seen because again, I kind of got my own thing going on. But as far as I seen, couple posts here and there. Yeah, man, check out my album, man. These are legends. You better check that shit out. Um, and, and that's about it. That's all that I saw. And just a couple days before it came out, I saw some energy where he was like, let's go. And you know, just change this profile. So that's why I say low key because he was just like, yo man, these are legends. I'm coming out with this album. You should check it out. That fucking simple, that casual, that, that, that classic. And, you know, I'm like, okay, let me check it out. I'm always check for crazy. Like I said, I barely even listen to rap. To be honest with you, I'm a little tired of the bone soap opera, just being honest with you. Um, and I honestly, you know, I still listen to bone stay pretty close, but I don't listen to it as much as I used to. I got, I, I've evolved, I've changed. So, you know, I'm like, okay, let me just check it out, man. It's crazy. I'm going to check it out. And, yo... One of the best ways I could describe this album is it's vintage Crazy Bone. It's not Granddad, respectfully. It's not Cray Jack, your boss. It's not, oh, it's not. <laughs> I tried to keep a straight face. I couldn't do it. Um, to me, it's Crazy Bone's out version of just doing an album he knows his fans is just gonna love it's almost like he intentionally said i'm gonna make an album for the fans i don't know what his thought process was but it's like he intentionally just said i'm gonna make an album for the fans and this shit finna go it's vintage fucking crazy bone it's it's that you got the the, the chef the hustlers hustlers have the man to do and try like just that magic that genius that you should come ride with a plane uh, stay away from busters like just that magic that genius that that it's a regular day when the haters hate me but they can make a fame and fame don't sound with a joke and mama say they crazy ready and i'm gonna be honest with you don't get me wrong crazy is always crazy i'm just an extremely tough critic and a very honest person so crazy is always crazy but truly in my opinion the magic 
has been a little different. His style has been a little different. Something just been a little different since we've been getting this granddaddy and Cray Jack your boss. And this album honestly feels like Leatherface, not in material. But in just that magic, that style, you just come for the meatball, like it's hard to explain it. But if you're watching this, I hope you understand what I'm talking about. Um, if you can articulate it, put it in the comments because y'all be saying some shit on my videos that I love, and it surprised the shit out of me to be dead honest with you. How fucking good this goddamn album is! I wasn't expecting this. You know, the only thing that kind of comes to mind is I remember seeing some post that he was putting up at some point sometime last year saying like, yo, I'm listening to some of my older shit and I'm trying to get back in touch with that. I remember him saying that. And I truly feel like this album is the manifestation of, of like he really fucking did that. He really went back and listened to his old shit, dug in his archive and figured out what was going on, what he was thinking, what he was doing. And he fucking did it. I really truly feel like that's what this album is. I don't know for sure because I'm not him. I don't know what his thought process was, but he fucking did it and here's something else i like about this album is it's clear honestly that bone is some some kind of black ball by the industry they release something and motherfuckers act like it never even happened which is a little depressing because people love bone they don't like bone they don't think people love bone like bone have a place in our fucking hearts and so somewhere, somewhere, regardless of who you are, it's really only just like OGs, OGs that give them props and give them respect. Wiz Khalifa, uh, Twista, DJ Paul, um, even Jay-Z in his 444 tour in Cleveland, he fucking did his Don't Get Mad at Me, I Don't Love My Mom, I think it was that song, to the Thuggish Ruggish Bone instrumental, just paying homage. So... You know, only OGs kind of really still give bone props, but it's like they're somehow blackballed in the industry. I don't know the details of that. But anyway, to me, what I really like about this is I've always kind of said to myself, like, man, I don't give a fuck if it don't sell. Make this shit for your culture, for your fans, for your legacy, for the sake of fuck. Just make this shit. For example, we should have been got a Crazy Bone and Lazy Bone album, but that's a different conversation. But I've always said, I don't give a fuck if it don't sell to some extent. Um, just make it, just make it, just make it. And I feel like this album shut me up in that sense. I feel like he made it. He made it. This man took his time and put together some shit that I can't even fucking conceive. And it's just ridiculous the album goes when i say i'm not exaggerating at all this album goes here's an example when i was structuring this video and i got to the songs i'm like okay i'm gonna just talk about a couple a couple of the songs a couple highlighted songs that i'm like oh this is the shit this is the shit i found myself going through every track on the fucking album I'm like, what the fuck? And since I'm not trying to quite do an album, uh, a reaction, I'm just doing a quick review preview to let you know this shit goes. You need to fucking listen to it, whether you like Bone or not. So I was going through every song and I realized I'm going through every song. I'm not exaggerating by any fucking means. Listen, I'm an extremely tough critic and I don't swing on bones dick all day like a lot of other cult following fans do because I, I just kind of got my own shit going on that's life it evolves it grows but they always close to my heart that's why i bring out the fucking gear just out of respect but the album goes there's not a single skip on this whole album like here's a couple of the songs off the t off the just a couple of the songs that just a few highlights because the whole shit goes um what we got this flight oh my god that shit just fucking it's a vibe out of this world i don't even know how to explain it crazy bone is actually rapping slow i don't know god knows what it fucking took for him to do that um and i'm not gonna say too much um nor play the songs because i don't want copyright claims and i don't want to spoil the experience for you you know he got gangsta boo on there just cool as fuck cool as fuck whenever i'm listening to leads the legends i go straight to that fucking song 
Break Up a Bag. Here's what I like about that song in particular. Literally just one week before this album came out, I thought to myself, for the first time, I never actually thought of this, but for the first time I thought, I was like, hold up. Woo! I'm back, had to switch it up a little bit. These likes ain't no joke. But I thought, I wonder what Bone would sound like on one of these modern beats. These very minimalistic beats. They got no fucking life in them at all. And it's just booch, 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 Like it, it's just minimal as fuck. It's like rap just took a hard fucking left and went down country road where the music is just broody, dark, and depressing as fuck. It's no wonder why motherfuckers is depressed as shit. Because the goddamn music is depressing. It got no life in it. So, but anyway, I was just thinking to myself, I was like, I wonder what Bone would sound like on one of these new age, modern, minimalistic beats. And I actually said to myself, I figured out, I was like, I think it'll actually sound good because Bone got the melody and the beat is basic. So it'll kind of be a cool dynamic and complement each other and break, break, break up a bag. I feel like it's just that. It's one of those modern kind of minimal beats. Don't get me wrong. Some of them kind of ride. Like, Drake, I just flipped the switch. Like, that fucking beat is ridiculous and it's minimal as fuck. But Break Up A Bag is, is that. And Crazy just rides that shit. And I got to give Position his props. Position is dope. Position is, is dope. So that's what I like about Break Up A Bag. And the next song we have on our list is the like button. <laughs> That's right. If you like uh, this video and how's it going so far, just give it a little like. Whatever you do, if you're getting anything from this video, any value, just give me a quick little like. That's all I ask for. It helps the channel grow and it inspires me to do more. Morning Buzz. Um, and again, all songs are fire. I'm just giving out some certain ones that just hit me a little, a little, a little bit different. Um, Morning Buzz, that's just a beautiful fucking interlude. It's just beautiful, man. Morning Buzz, that's, that's another highlight. Like, that shit is just a mood, man. It's just a vibe of being more than twice before of coming back for more, for more, for more, some shit like that. Hey, we've been here more than twice before. Like, it's just fucking brilliant. Uh, Morning Buzz. Besides this flight, not on my level. Woo-wee! Woo! And I know somebody that's watching this is like, yeah, my nigga, I feel you. I feel you. Uh not on my level y'all she can't get on a level i am i'm way too high i am way too high to be fucking with y'all cha cha like ooh we that's all i'm gonna say man not on my level that might be the favorite that might be the favorite i it's just euphoric man euphoric no pun intended to my name. Euphoric. It's fucking euphoric as shit, man. Thank you for that, crazy. If you're listening to this, Mr. Anthony Henderson, I say that respectfully. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that song. Thank you for that song, especially in 2021. Thank you for that song. And, and like I said, man, I, I, I could just go through every fucking song, but I'm just giving a few highlights. And the last one I'm going to give is, uh, is, is Higher. Um, beautiful fucking song. It's that typical click song. You know, like how Rough Riders used to do back in the days with like 10 motherfuckers on a song. And it's all spitters on there. Cray do his thing. Position, like I said, is dope. And even Nova the Rebel. I, I describe Nova the Rebel like Gucci Man. I never liked Gucci Man until I got it. And honestly, it just happened one day I was listening to the song with Lil Wayne and I'm like, I get it. I get it. I get it. Cause at first I'm like, what the fuck? This makes no sense. This shit just don't, but you just don't get it. And that's kind of like what Nova the Rebel is to me. And once I got it, I'm like, oh, okay. It's, 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 I fucks with it. I fucks with it. Um, and again, man, it's just so many different people. Crazy always like spitters on his team. Another one that I want to highlight is Lady Smoker. Somebody that's watching this is probably going, mm hmm, mm hmm. 
because every time I hear her, and I even saw her live when Crazy was in Tampa, Florida last year or the year before, whenever. And yeah, yeah, Lady Smoker. That's a clap, by the way. Um, yeah, yeah, Lady, Lady Smoker. I see you. I see you. I see you. And again, I can't go through everything. I can't go through everybody, but man, to wrap this up. You know, like I said, there's not a single fucking skip on this whole album. I don't know how Crazy Bone did it, but he did it. This is Crazy Bone. And I really hope that this album somehow gets like a spark of luck. I say that because again, Bone is clearly to some extent blackballed by the industry. I don't know the fucking story behind that. I don't know the specifics. I don't know the whys. I don't know the ends. I don't know the outs. But they drop shit. The motherfuckers act like it just don't even exist, which is a fucking tragedy because especially when you got an artist. Honestly, there's not another single artist I've heard, probably with the exception of BTS, honestly, that still puts this level of passion soul, dedication, and perfection into artistry. But this is the first project, again, besides BTS, I've heard in a long fucking time where I feel like somebody just really put, like I'm surprised this nigga don't need crazy, don't need to hibernate for like the next two months after making this album because he put it, he put like this takes work. This takes work. I, I I know art and I know music. This takes work to get the dynamics right, to get it sounding perfect, to get all the words right. To, this takes work. This album is, is, is a fucking masterpiece in my opinion. And I don't say that loosely. It's a fucking masterpiece. And I hope it somehow gets some spark of luck that it gets picked up and it gets traction because it deserves it. And it's one of the best pieces of music that exists on the planet today, whether you like rap or not. So I hope it somehow gets lucky fucking Snoop, LeBron, somebody just post it and it get a spark and it goes viral because it needs to it deserves to and it fucking supposed to but it's a masterpiece it's a fucking masterpiece and i don't say that loosely it's a fucking masterpiece i give it a 10 out of 10 and this is how you know something is a masterpiece it's like what i said with my carbon monoxide review it's one of those pieces where you could listen to it a thousand two thousand times later and you're going to catch something you didn't get your first hundred two hundred three hundred one thousand times listening to it that's when you know you have a masterpiece on your hands it's that much dynamics is that much elements is that much perfection is that much god um in this album and it's i give it a fucking 10 out of 10 and lastly where do i rank it i will honestly say in my opinion at least very strict opinion i'm an extremely tough critic um i'm gonna say this is crazy bones best album ever I'm going to say it's his best album ever. This is technically the first album we got since Chasing the Devil, which came out, God, I don't know how many years ago. I know, you know, the fixed tapes, those shits ride, but it's a fixed tape. That's just a little, that's just a little fix. It's not an album. And if, you th if you're talking about Crazy Bones' best album ever, you already know what's in the conversation. Thug Mentality. Thug on the Line is pretty fucking nice, too. Thug on the Line is very fucking nice. Gemini is in that conversation. And Chasing the Devil. Damn, that's practically all of his albums. <laughs> Shit. And Chasing the Devil. Here's how I, how, how, I, how, I, how I sort that list out. Chasing the Devil immediately gets knocked off because the album took 40 fucking years to come out and the mixing was ass. I'm sorry. I'm just being very honest. We need a little honesty in this world. So that immediately gets knocked off just because of that, despite the fact that there are some great songs on that album. Gemini, pretty good, but I wouldn't say it's his absolute best. I easily don't say it's not his best, easily. 
thug on the line is probably the only closer one that I could think of because that has some incredible songs on there. It has some nice songs on there, some good songs on there. But, you know, there's some that I could do without. There's some that I could do without. Um, by the way, Night Riders grew on me. I didn't like that fucking song at first, but when you get it, just like I said with Nova the Rebel, when you get it, you fucking get it. And it rides. Um, shout out to all my Night Riders out there that know what the fuck I'm talking about. That's for us. That's for us. Um, that shit goes. Um, and lastly, Thug Mentality. Clearly classic. Double disc album. Went one or two times platinum. I don't remember. Fucking brilliant album. Thug Mentality, the song itself, is still one of my all-time fucking favorite songs and beats and instrumentals and compositions. It's, of course, I could go all day about that. I could make a whole video about Thug Mentality, the album. Um, but... You know, kind of like with Gemini, there's a couple songs that I'm not saying is bad, but I wouldn't mind skipping to the next one. So that's where Thug Mentality gets knocked off. But out of respect, that came out in what, 99, 98? So this to me is Crazy Bones best album ever, 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 ever. Once again, Crazy Bone, Mr. Anthony Henderson, respectfully. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Music thanks you. I thank you. God thanks you. The fans thank you. We thank you. Thank you for being you. Thank you for doing what you do. Thank you for your artistry and, and, and just always putting your passion and everything that you have in what you do, such as this album and more. Thank you. In my opinion, this is your best work for what it's worth, bro. And I'm qualified for it. I, I fucking uh, you could check out my um my two videos uh, rapping. I don't give a fuck. That needs to go viral. We really need to make that go viral. And I even rap to Crazy Bone himself. Check out both of those videos. So thank you. Anyway, I don't want to take up too much of your time. This was just my quick review of Crazy Bone, my review slash preview slash somewhat reaction of Crazy Bone Lee's a legend. And with that said, I try my best to keep the channel up, uh, keep things going. I appreciate all your likes, all your comments, all that good shit. I don't want to take up too much of your time. It's your boy Euphoria and I'm out, man. Peace. Go check out the album. Listen to the album. Buy the album. It deserves it. It deserves your money. It deserves your time. And I say that very sincerely. Peace.